Hello and welcome to Ganesh Institute YouTube channel. Today our topic is Vactor and 3D Spaces. So first of all, let's start with the basics. Here, we have a question that we have to find out the sides and angles of the triangle whose vertices are these three. Now, if you form a triangle, I hope you can see it. Let's say A, B, C. The vector for A is this. Vector of B is this. And vector of 3 is 3i cap, j, 2k cap. You know I, J and K are mutually perpendicular vectors, unit vectors whose magnitude is 1. Now, if you want to find out the sides, you have, let's say, you have to find out what is, what will be AB. So, what you need to do, for AB, subtract initial vector from final vector. You want to go from A to B. So subtract the direction, uh, the vector of B. Subtract vector of A from B. Okay. Final minus initial. Now B vector is this. 2i cap minus i is i. J cap minus minus plus 2j is 3j. Minus k minus 2 is 3k. All right. Coming to BC side, so BC will be C minus B, final minus initial, right? So C minus B, 3i minus 2j is, sorry, 3i minus 2i is i, minus j minus j is 2j, and 2k minus minus plus 3k, alright? Then after, similarly you can find out the third side which is AC here. For AC, final minus initial. What it will be? C minus A. That's correct. So C is 3i minus i, which is 2i. Minus j minus minus plus 2j is j. And 2k minus 2k is 0. Right? Let's say minus j minus minus plus 2j. 2 minus 1 is plus j. Okay? Moving on. Now you have first part of the question which was find out the sides of the triangle. Secondly, you have to find out the angle. For angle, let's say you want to find out uh, angle A. So you have to consider two sides, two adjacent sides of this angle which is, which are AB and AC. For angle B, you have to consider AB and BC. For angle C, you have to consider AC and BC. Now, to find out any vector, uh, any angle, you have to find out direction cosines. How can you find out direction cosines? So, let's say for AB, direction cosines for AB will be See, this is the i component. Coefficient of i vector is 1. Divide by, you have to take the magnitude of this. How can you find out magnitude of any vector? Root of, square root of these three squares in addition. So, 1 square, 1, 3 square, 9, minus 3 square is also 9. Okay? This will be your L. Because direction cosines are denoted as L, M, M. Okay? L is, this. let's say this is A, B, C. So A upon root A square plus B square plus C square. Similarly, M will be B upon root A square plus B square plus C square, which will be same. What it is? 9, 9, 18 plus 1? 19. And n will be c upon, which is minus 3, square, magnitude, which is square root of 19. Okay? So, your direction cosines for AB are 1 by root 19, 3 by root 19, 
एन माइनस थ्री बाई रूट नाइनटीन ओके सिमिलरली फाइंड आउट द डायरेक्शन को साइंस फॉर बी सी एंड ए सी लेट से दीज आर एल वन एम वन एन वन ओके दिस इज फॉर ए बी राइट नाउ फॉर बी सी वॉट यू हैव टू डू अगेन योर ए इज वन ईयर बी इज माइनस टू एंड सी इज थ्री राइट सो ए अपॉन रूट मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ दिस विच इज वन स्क्वायर वन माइनस टू स्क्वायर इज फोर थ्री स्क्वायर इज नाइन राइट सो वन बाय नाइन फोर थर्टीन फोर्टीन राइट दिस इज योर एल टू सिमिलरली योर एम टू विल बी बी अपॉन मैग्नीट्यूड विच इज रूट फोर्टीन एंड एम टू विल बी थ्री अपॉन राइट सो फॉर बी सी योर डायरेक्शन को साइंस आर वन बाय रूट फोर्टीन माइनस टू बाय रूट फोर्टीन एंड थ्री बाय रूट फोर्टीन राइट देन आफ्टर टू फाइंड आउट सिमिलर यू कैन फाइंड आउट एल थ्री एम थ्री एंड एम थ्री कंसिडरिंग ए सी सो एल थ्री विल बी ए ए इज द कॉफिशियंट ऑफ आई वैक्टर बी इज जे एंड सी इज के के इज नॉट हेयर सो यू हैव टू कंसिडर जीरो राइट एल थ्री इज टू आई टू स्क्वायर द मैनी ड्यू राइट टू स्क्वायर प्लस वन स्क्वायर विच इज फोर प्लस वन फाइव एंड एम थ्री वन बाय अगेन रूट फाइव राइट b upon root a square plus b square plus c square c is not here so n3 will be 0 so for ac your direction cosines are 2 by root 5 1 by root 5 and c that's correct moving on now our main part is to find out the angles of the triangle means we have to find out angle a b and C. So let's say we want to find out cos theta and theta. First of all, let's say a, cos a. So the formula for any angle, what you have to take, l one. So to multiply this to any uh, find out any angle between two lines for a, you have to consider a b and a c. You have to take the addition. of the products of direction cosines okay so direction cosines of these should be multiplied simultaneously with the direction cosines of ac so l1 l2 m1 m2 and n1 n2 okay let's move on so cos a for cos a you have to consider ab and ac here your l1 M one, N one, L two, M two, N two. Okay, so one by root nineteen into one by root fourteen plus three by root nineteen into minus two by root fourteen plus minus three by root fourteen into three by root fourteen. Is it okay? Multiplying it, one by Root nineteen into fourteen. Three two is a six. Root nineteen into fourteen. Three three is a nine. It should be nineteen, right? Minus three by root nineteen. Okay. So it is one because denominators are same. You can take it as common. Now you can add, simply add. numerators 1 minus 6 is minus 5 minus 5 and minus 9 is minus 14 you can split it as root 14 into root 14 right and in denominator it is this so you can cancel it so your sign down that minus root 14 by 19 okay 
Similarly, you can find out cos B considering the direction cosines of AB and BC. For C, you have to consider direction cosines of AC and BC, right? Do you want me to do it? So let's do it. Um, for cos B, for cos B, it will be AB and A BC, right? AB and BC. Oh, we had taken AB and BC initially, right? So that, that was angle B already. We did it. Now for A, we have to take AB and AC. So AB and AC are these two. Okay? So for cos A, initially that was cos B. Remember this thing? Because for this, the adjacent sides are AB and BC and we have already taken these two. So that was angle B, not A, cos B. Okay? Now for cos A, you have to consider AB and AC. These two. So 1 by root 19 multiply 2 by root 5 plus 3 by root 19 multiply 1 by root 5 and whenever you multiply it with 0 it will turn out as 0. So 2 by root 19 into root 5, 3 by root 19 into root 5, denominator again same root 19 into root 5, 3 into 5, again you can split 5 as root 5 root 5, right? So, your cos A is root, let's take it as whole, okay? So, if you want to find out angle A only, it will be cos inverse of root 5 by 19, right? Similarly, when you want to find out what, what is left, we have done B initially, now A. So for C, can I ask you which two sides you will take for angle C? For angle C, you have to take BC and AC, right? So, AC and BC, these two, multiply these respectively. 1 by root 14 into 2 by root 5. Minus 2 by root 14 into 1 by root 5 and rest is 0, right? Multiply it. 2 times 1 is 2. 14 times 5 is 70. 2 times 1 is 2. It is 0. So, can I ask you? 0. For which angle cos, cos function is 0? For 90, right? So, angle C is... 90. I hope you got it. I know this is a basic part and you might think that um, why I am teaching you this basic answer but this is for those who are really struggling how to start. Maybe those diploma holders who want to go uh, in their, their second year. Uh, they, sh they should know about this basic part. Uh, slowly slowly I am moving forward to more fundamental and a more complex parts okay so if you like this video please don't forget to like it share it and subscribe to my channel and if you have any comments please don't forget to comment below thank you so much take care till then bye